Our next guest's artwork adorns almost every street around Brighton and Hove. His iconic images giving the city a unique stamp of retro cool. It's so striking that we really wanted some of it for our studio. So most of the artwork that you see on our walls here and also in the live stage is by the man behind the can himself, Cassette Lord, also known as Martin Middleton. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Very good. Now, how do you like to be referred? Is it street artist, graffiti artist or something else? Uh, street artist. A street artist. Or, or pop artist. Or a yeah. pop artist. Yeah. <laughs> um, so your work and your name, obviously, you're so famous around Brighton. Can you take us back to the beginning where it really started for you as an artist? Sure, yeah. Well, I used to paint um, graffiti art murals of young offenders. Mm -hmm. And we were doing a mural and two of those junction boxes were in front of the mural. So I asked the council if we could go over them with the mural. And so they said, yeah, well, can you do more of the boxes? So I said, yeah, great. You know, so spread out and did more. And uh, the young people weren't really getting how stencils worked. So I made up a um, sort of cassette stencil. So I was making sculptures out of cassette stencils at the time. And um, yeah, it worked really well. And people started identifying with it and really liking it. So, yeah. Speaking of the council then, would you say that Brighton Council has been really supportive Absolutely. of your work? Yeah, they're really supportive of all... Um, sort of street-based artwork in Brighton. It's great. Yeah, um, I think we're in a real bubble here with um, the attitude of the council, you know, compared to um, other parts of the country, you know. So, it's, you know, it's a great, great creative, progressive attitude. So, yeah. I mean, we do have so much all around yeah. Brighton, a huge amount from you. I mean, how, much, how many cassettes do you reckon you've actually painted over however many years now? Hundreds. And I must have been doing it for about sort of eight, nine years now. So I've done the same box over and over again because yeah. they, they get buffed and painted over and you get all kinds of messages left, you know. So, yeah. And some that are a little bit more in obscure locations, they can last for a long time. So they're almost kind of like cracked and antiquified by the sun and stuff, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. How long would you say kind of a, a piece would would take for you from the thought process of the initial idea to it being a finished piece? Um, it can go into the months if you're trying to sort of really formulate a new, fresh idea, um, you know, right through from drawing to cutting a stencil. I mean, stencils, that's the hard work. It can take all day yeah. there with the pencil and the scarpel and stuff, you know. Uh, but when it comes to actually painting a box, I can do it, take two and a half hours over it and, you know, make it really nice. Or if it's really cold, like it was recently, I can <laughs> yeah. you know, do it really quickly and, like, you know, get home. You know, my hands fall off, basically. Up. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, it's, um, it's not just cassettes that you do as well. You also paint a lot of other things. What is What would you say is your biggest interest when you're painting um, something else uh, in a studio? Um, well, I take a lot of cues from pop art. I really like manga as well. So I've been making pieces based on, like, not girls' faces recently, just, yeah. you know, like a big silhouette and just, like, getting lots of sort of um, iconography and all kinds of drips and diamonds in there. So it's almost like building up a patina of patterns and then putting a large shape over the top. I mean, that's sort of my process, you know, but I take my influences and ideas from all kinds of places, you know, so... Yeah, I think it's great that you don't just mm. limit yourself to... Just cassettes. Just, yeah. obviously, <laughs> That's just what I'm known cassettes. For, but, yeah. <laughs> but also, you know, you're out on the streets, but you also do go back to studios yeah. as well. If something works really well, you know, on a piece of wood at home, then I will take it to a box and then introduce mm. it to a fresh idea. I mean, I do, like, cassette animals, and they've all got, like, sort of cassette balls for eyes and things oh, like that. So <laughs> I'm just trying to sort of diversify. It's just like a starting point. I use it as a kind of base of my ideas yeah. and then go out from there, you know, so, yeah. Uh, you do a lot of work with um, a youth centre and things like that. Is that something you're really passionate about and new artists coming into the scene and being able to help yeah, them? Yeah, absolutely. With those guys? Yeah, I used to do a bit of teaching in school and I work at Brighton Youth Centre, which is just up the road, mm. and we have like a really good night there um, called Exploring Senses, which is like an art tech night, and the young people come in, they draw, and then they can nice. use 3D pens, you know, to make a 3D model, and that can then be printed on a T-shirt. You know, so it just enables them. And, you know, when you teach, when you work, you know, obviously you're trying to inspire young people and get them to draw. But the, the, the ideas come back as well. They sort, of show, they sort of show you things a different way than you've understood it. So then you get ideas. So it's like a two-way thing. How culturally important do you think street art is? Mm. Uh, well, I think it's really culturally important. I mean, I think we're all used to seeing artwork in galleries, mm. you know, behind a rope. You know, that's all very well. But actually having the streets as your gallery, you know, that's, that's amazingly inspiring, culturally important. You know, when you go to work, you know, when you're on a break, when you're on a bus, you know, it's, you know, it's there, it's everywhere. You know, when obviously this time of year, when the weather gets better with the festival coming up, you know, you see new things appearing every day, every week, mm. you know. So, yeah, it's great. It's really, really inspiring and important, yeah. That just um, 
made me want to ask you, do you have any opinion on uh, the idea that some people that started out as street artists then moving out and selling their work, whether you see that as selling out at all or are you in support of people taking that art and then it becoming really, really mainstream afterwards? Um, I think that's part of the process. Mm. I think anyone who goes and does something on the street, whether it's playing the guitar or whether it's doing a visual piece of artwork, I think ultimately they, they do want to kind of get paid, you know, so they can support themselves and pay the bills. Most artists mm. want that. The, the trick is not to make it, like, too commercial and dilute it too much. So you hollow it out, you know, it's try, try to keep it fresh and try to do new things. But, um, you know, I think that's a natural progression. But you need to go back to the streets. You know, I, I still go out and paint on the streets and yeah. I get great feedback from, like, you know, old ladies and like kids, and, you know, that, that's and that's what great. keeps that's what keeps it fresh for you. You know, and then you know you can do a piece for someone, they commission you, and you can make a bit of artwork and get paid for it. So it's just good to keep a balance, really. I think you know, but there's nothing wrong with selling your work or getting paid yeah, for what you do. Definitely. I think everyone wants that, you know, and if it helps you feel valued as well, you know, rather than everyone just going, that's nice. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. I think feedback's so important. Definitely. What do you think your favourite piece is that you've done, and why is it your favourite? Um, my favourite piece at the moment is I'm uh, doing a great big um, sort of transformer robot. I've done that in a few places. <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, I mean he's got like a it's sound wave, you know, and he's got a cassette built into his chest. So it's two of my loves. Cool. So it's like robots and cassettes in one thing, you know. And I've done that in a few venues, and I've done it as a sort of sold piece as well, you know. So yeah, quite enjoying that at the moment, you know. I've only done about four of them, so so it's still quite fresh. Yeah, that, I, I imagine that's really nice when you take two things that you really love, bring them together into something yeah. you're really happy the with. The only thing you missing from that is probably um, cats and Lego. Yeah. That, that'd, that'd be that'd like, yeah. That's in the next piece. Yeah. 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 I mean, you could always make a cat robot, I would suggest, maybe. Oh, Lego. Mm, that has been done, actually. It's but been I've, done. I've done it, but I haven't made a stencil out of it. So, I think yeah. that's probably the, that's the, yeah. the next the natural progression. Ideas, yeah. <laughs> um, how can people buy your art? Um, I sell my artwork from Studio 45, which is in the open market. There's it's a great, great place. There's loads of other artworks, street artists in there. And if people get in touch with me directly, you know, I do commissions, you know, and you can choose colours and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's lovely. Thank well, thank you for that. Hopefully we'll get some more artwork from you as well. Great. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, can I please ask, what song would you like to add to our Spotify playlist? Um, the song I've selected is um, by Beck, and it's called Sex Laws. No, and the reason I love it is because of the video. It's mental. Oh, that's great. Well, hopefully we can um, put on uh, a little link for the video as well so that everyone can see that. Too. Definitely. Well, it's been really great chatting to you um, and we really, really support all of your artwork and are big fans ourselves. Definitely. Of all of it. Really, really and great. thank you again for providing some part so of much. the artwork as well. Pleasure.